Shannon Walker. Are you there? I'm here. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yes, we were just giving our listeners an overview on how you are really giving an opportunity, a second chance for shelter dogs and helping our veterans uh, through your nonprofit, Northwest Battle Buddies. Tell us about how you do this, how this came to be. Oh, absolutely. Well, um, in Northwest Battle Buddies, we provide service dogs to combat veterans who have PTSD. Um, we train these dogs for 7 to 12 months, you know, very professional handling to make sure that we provide the best for our veterans. And then our veterans go through six weeks of training, and then they pass testing, and then we gift these dogs. And how I started it is I had a veteran come through my door looking for help, wanting his dog to be trained for PTSD. So through the process, I saw how he changed through um, helping overcome his symptoms of PTSD and how he helped use his dog to learn how to navigate his life and have more freedom and independence. And because of all of that, I started Northwest Battle Buddies. And when I started, the first thing I started was I went out and adopted dogs out of shelters to use them, dogs wow. that were young of temperament and healthy, and uh, we got going, and it, it's been fantastic. Now, the veterans that are eligible to have the dogs, which, by the way, uh, a trained dog to, to a service dog, that can be a really big expense from what I understand. It is. It's very expensive. Um, because of the, the many, many months of training, it costs about $25,000 to provide a service dog the way that we do it. And, and it just, the amount of time and effort it takes, as well as the training for the veteran. Even though we gift these dogs, I was about to say. they do cost us about 25000 yes. So your fundraising efforts go to cover the cost of training so that you are able to gift a veteran with a service dog. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Thank fact, you. Yeah. Thank you. And, and Shannon, could this uh, program be expanded across the country? Because I assume you're just doing this in the northwest portion of the country. No, we actually are nationwide. In fact, the three service dogs, uh, we're, we're doing six service dogs right now, a group of veterans. Three of those service dogs came out of shelters in the state of Wyoming. And we're in the state of Washington. <laughs> so we have people across the United States. Yeah, we literally have a junkyard dog that got trapped. <laughs> they trapped her. <laughs> but she's young enough and has temperament, and she is serving right now one of our Vietnam veterans, and she is phenomenal. Wow. And so it's a tremendous blessing. Yeah, no, we're nationwide. We serve our dogs and our veterans nationwide. We are speaking with Shannon Walker, a specialist on PTSD as well as Northwest Battle Buddies. Shannon, there is just a special bond, isn't there, between a dog and their owner, whether it's a man or a female, the old saying, uh, you know, a man and his dog. But there's this that special bond that uh, they both can help each other, right? Absolutely. You know, it truly is life-changing. Um, the veterans themselves just talk about how these dogs become a lifeline for them to learn how to navigate public and mm -hmm. overcome their symptoms of PTSD. And it's just an incredible honor to be a part of it. And it's magic when you watch it occur and happen. And it starts on day one, the minute they meet their service dog. It's, it's truly phenomenal. Well, you're helping our veterans, and you're also saving the life of an animal that otherwise may be euthanized, which that's like two miracles in one. Absolutely. I tell people we save a life to save a life. Yes. Oh, that's, that's a great motto. And, you know, the, uh, the suicide rate among our veterans and so much of the post-traumatic stress disorder is reacting in a safe environment to something that is per as a perceived threat. So the, the role of the service dog can be to help a veteran understand and separate perhaps what is real and what is happening in their mind? Absolutely. You know, our dogs, absolutely, not only do they wake them up from nightmares or night terrors, but they also do stop panic attacks as they have them throughout the day, maybe caused by what's happening in the public and it does it they the dog will interrupt that moment and bring them back to the moment of now and get their attention onto the dog and and make a tremendous difference and one of the things that our veterans say right off the bat is how much safer they feel with their battle buddy at their side mm -hmm. and um, the dogs you know have other practical purposes you know at times depending on the individual needs of the veteran but um, it really does make a huge difference you know and they sleep better uh, there's 
so many positive effects, not to mention the reduction with medical you know, supervision, of course, but many of our veterans have reduced their meds significantly or completely gone off their medications, sometimes after decades, because the dogs have minimized the symptoms of their PTSD to such a degree that they are able to start to function without the meds that they maybe were reliant on for so many years. And Shannon, where can we learn more about Northwest Buddies? Uh, it's Northwest Battle Buddies, and if you go to northwestbattlebuddies.org, you can also find us on Facebook. Um, we also do fundraisers. In fact, we have Marcus Luttrell, the lone survivor, coming in mm. May 5th into the Portland area, and we're doing a fundraiser for him to help provide these amazing animals for our American heroes. Well, uh, thank you so much for what you all are doing and uh, for saving a life to save a life. Uh, that is such a great motto, and uh, we are excited to learn more about this and uh, love to see the program make its way to the Carolinas right here in South Carolina. A uh, big uh, military state, and we love our veterans, of course, across the country, but here at home, you know, uh, we care for them, and this is uh, another great idea and another step or paw forward. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Shannon Walker, thank you so very much for being with us this morning.